begin is a, a target outcome that you're trying to achieve. So if you're trying to, in the, in the talk, I was talking about reducing direct energy consumption in households. So, you know, then you need to first analyze, you know, what are the behaviors that produce the energy consumption? What are the behavioral changes that could reduce it? And, you know, then what's the potential for actually changing those behaviors? And in the case of household energy consumption, the two major classes have to do with adopting new technology, new appliances, retrofitting the you know, insulating the walls and, and so forth, and the use of the existing technology, thermostat settings and how you wash your clothes and those sorts of things. So the, the first step is, you know, which behaviors have the greatest impact on what you're interested in? And then the second question is, which ones are most changeable? And, you know, sometimes it's important to have a financial incentive as part of a behavioral change program if the behavioral change is expensive. But it's not sufficient because there tend to be other reasons why people do the cheaper thing. A lot of it is what's easier. You know, and I like to use the example of replacing water heaters. People tend to replace water heaters when they break down and there's a flood in the basement. And then they call a plumber and they buy the water heater on the truck. And they, they don't make a choice. You know, and the water heater on the truck is something that the plumber thinks that they'll be able to sell easily to the customer. You know, and energy efficiency is probably not one of the concerns. Maybe price is a concern. I don't know what the concerns are. You know, but there are reasons like that that people make their choices and they're not based on a careful analysis of the life cycle cost of the product plus all of the energy that's used to run it. What I mean by that is that you know, the behavior changes that matter are blocked by a lot of different kinds of barriers. You know, some of it is cost. Some of it is that it's difficult to get the information that you need about you know, if you're insulating your house, what's worth doing and what's not worth doing. There's all kinds of untrustworthy sources out there. You know, people trying to sell you windows. and you know, Will they lower your energy bills? Well, they say they will, but can you believe them? Uh, you know, so there's, there's a barrier of the trustworthiness of the information plus the difficulty of getting the information. Uh, there's choices that are not available. If you want to travel less, you live where you live and you work where you work, and if there's nothing but a car to get you from point A to point B, you can't really travel less. So, you know, the idea of a full court press is to pay attention to all of the barriers that you can and design a program that addresses them. Well, I mean, it does depend on the behavior, but, uh, you know, in, in the recycling arena, making things easy for people makes a lot of difference. So, yeah, if you have a technology that will separate the junk after it gets to the dump, you're more likely to have people recycle stuff than if they have to do it themselves and put it in three different bins and remember what goes where. Um, you know, that, that is an implementation of the, the principle of keeping it simple for people. You know, people, most people have things that they would rather be doing with their time than separating their trash. Uh, some people are motivated to do that, but a lot of people, or the same people at different times, you know, don't have the time for that right now. So, um, you know, in fact, one of the things that's most frequently ignored in conservation pro programs is the matter of making it simple for people. You've seen that a lot in energy conservation where when they provide incentives, you have to fill out a lot of paperwork, you have to send in documentation, you have to wait and see if it comes back, you have to follow up if it doesn't. You know, a lot of people say, I can't be bothered with this. My system, my house is working. I don't need to pay attention to this, it's too much trouble.
Well, to some extent, uh, you know, public policy is is always trying to influence behavior. You know, I mean, the economists say if you want to have less of something, you make it cost more, and there's there's some truth to that. But it's also the case that you know, I quote Kermit the Frog: "It's not easy being green." There's a lot of people who want to be green, and it's too much trouble. So there's a lot of room in the energy area for policy to make it easier for people to do things that they would like to do anyhow. And that's a lot of what I was talking about today. 